hello guys welcome to this video in this video the question is find the amount and the compound interest on rupees 50000 for one whole one by two years at 8 percent per annum the interest being compounded semi annually so this is the question and as always so this question i will do with a simple interest formula so for that first you write the principal as it is given 50000 rate of interest it is given 8 percent per annum so now in the question it is given at a compounded semi-annually so semi-annually means the rate will also become half that is 4% per half year so now time is equal to given 1 whole 1 by 2 years so now semi-annually means uh, you have to express it in terms of 6 months that means per 6 months so that means 1 whole 1 by 2 years so 1 year means 2 months uh, 2 6 months and half means plus 1 so that is equal to 3 half year or you can also write that from um, 3 6 months so the, uh, now we solved it so for that first you write that for first year sorry that for first half year that means out of 3 the first one principal will be equal to rupees 50,000 rate of interest being 4% per half year and time will be equal to 1 year, half year so therefore we write SI for first half year is equal to the formula PRT by 100 that means principal into rate into time by 100 so now I put the values that 50,000 into 4 into 1 by 100 now I cut the zeros so it remains 500 into 4 which will equal to rupees 2000 so therefore this is the interest for the first half year so now I have to write that the amount at the end of first half year will equal to the formula is principal plus SI so put the values principal it is 50,000 plus SI that is 2000 so that is equal to rupees 52,000. Therefore, this is the amount at the end of the first half year. So now I have to find out the interest for the second year. So for that, first you write for second half year, principal will equal to rupees. So now the amount that is at the end of first half year that is 52,000 will become the principal for the second year that is 52,000 now rate is equal to 4% per annum the time is equal to second half year that means one half year so therefore right SI for second half year will be equal to same formula P at T by 100 which is when I put the value 52,000 into 4 into 1 by 100 so you cut the zeros first so now it means 520 into 4 which will be equal to rupees 2080 so therefore this is the interest for the second half year so now I write that the amount at the end of Second half year will be question for same formula principal plus SI. So put the value principal 52,000 plus SI that is 2080 will become rupees 54,080. So therefore, this is the amount for at the end of the second half year. So now this amount will become the principal for this uh, last I mean the third half year. So that is right. That for third half year principal will equal rupees 54,080. Rate is equal to 4 percent per annum and time is equal to 1. So for that we write therefore now this time for third half year will be cost to 5 sorry principal into rate into 100 by 100 is equal to 54080 
into 4 into 1 y100 so first you cut a 0 so now you cut 4 and 10 by 2 it becomes 2 by 5 so now you cannot cut further it will become 5 4 0 8 into 2 by 5 so now if you divide this so divide it in the next page so 5 4 0 8 into 2 by 5 so you have to divide this you will get the interest for this uh, third half here so 5 4 0 8 into 2 it will become 10816 so now I have to divide this by 5 so divide it 10816 so first 5 2 is a 10 remainder 0 come down 8 1 is a 5 remainder 3 31 now 6 is a 30 remainder 1 6 now 3 is a 50 remainder 1 so now I put a decimal point so it becomes 0 so now 2 is a 10 so it ends up here so therefore the interest for the third half year will become rupees 2163.20 as it in is it in rupees so you have to write in two up to two decimal places so you write one more zero so now you write therefore the amount at the end of at the end of third half year is equal to principal plus SS in formula so our principal is 54080 plus the um, uh, interest net is just now find out so it will become 2163.20 so which becomes rupees which is 56243.20 so therefore this is the amount at the end of the third year so now the last part we have to find out the compound interest so therefore ci is equal to the formula is amount that means that this amount minus the original principal that means the principal from which it start so that is 50000 so the amount it becomes 5562432.20 Minus the original principal that is 550,000, it becomes rupees 6243.20. So, therefore, this is the final answer for this question. So, guys, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions.